Yes, teaching family. Yes, sir. We <laughs> yeah, yeah. back again for another banger. I'm ready for this oh one. Oh my uh, god, this one's real. I'm, ready I'm for excited. This one. Woo. You, you see the smile already? I see you smiling. Don't smile too much though, please. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, uh, <coughs> but anyways, um, so please, before I, uh, I I go ahead, please hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, and it does help the channel. Thank you very much. So, the topic for today... Drop it. ...is <laughs> called, Why Does Ofsted Create Panic and Fear? Ooh. Mm. Oh, some schools are nervous already. Sh- sh- should I? Should I? Should I, should I now, see, Ofsted. Now, don't forget, Ofsted. Just for those that don't know, right? Because we've got to touch on that very quickly. Ofsted are a body that comes into schools and they basically look and assess how well they're doing in many different categories. So, whether it be behavior management, progress of the students, there are many different um, mm-hmm. categories that they come in and uh, they assess the school and they give them a. Uh, uh, a sort of grading Grade, yeah. they like give grading. them a grading mm-hmm. right and feedback and everything and else. feedback and yeah. everything so that if they they're not doing as well they need to improve for the next yeah, time that's it, yeah. yeah you know and then the gradings are you know requires improvement and various other things so um i'm not going to go into the gradings but i'm going to talk about why ofsted per se creates with teachers a lot of fear and panic um i think it's because no one really wants to be told that they're failing to be honest with you mm. and i think yeah the fear mostly starts from the top Mm-hmm. So if, I don't know, a school's branded a failure, they won't really look at the teachers, they'll look at the head first. Mm. And because of his anxiety, his or her's anxiety or, you know, lack of skill, whatever they want to think, it, mm. they will then have this panic that will just shoot down yeah. all the way down to, like, I don't know, the, yeah. to, the, to the rest of the staff. To the rest of the staff. Bro, it filters yeah, all the way it filters the bad. And um, mm. it's where we pick up the slack. So I think in some areas they know that they've slapped in certain areas, but then all, the, all of a sudden someone's going to come to your come to your school mm. to be prodding and poking out, you know, what you're doing. So you're talking about sorry the schools that say that let's say require improvement, yeah, and the ones that are not doing so well mm-hmm. in terms of the offset grading, yeah, uh, the scrutiny and the focus will be a lot on those kind of schools, exactly. Yeah. And then what happens with the SLT and the and the headship is, you know, they they start working on a lot of things and it's almost like the teachers feel a bit stressed with all of this kind of extra- super stress yeah yeah because yeah. um i even know where i've heard the story where um the school out like if they know the officers come in like they'll just change everything about the school yeah. it's naturally about them and then the, it was a primary school by the way and then like they'll just like it's a total 180 mm. and it's so funny because i think uh one of the little girls like reception mm. Must have been like to the upstairs officer, like, Shh, can I tell you a secret? Ah. And then she's like, Yeah, go on then. She goes, We don't normally do this. We're only doing this because someone special's come to visit. <laughs> she actually told the upstairs <laughs> officer that, and then Boy, like, she yeah. snitched hard. But she didn't know that was the upstairs officer. <laughs> of it? course, so no, then, of course, so not. then, yeah, it's true. Because so like, Oh, really? And then, you know, so yeah. obviously, they. I'm not sure what grade they got, but it wasn't as they what got, they should have because they got a strong satisfaction. Yeah, <laughs> but one of their yeah. uh, comments was like, as like we always say, be be natural. Yeah, do what you naturally do. I think. I think. Um. I, sorry, poet. I was gonna say that. That's a catch twenty two. Mm. Mm. Because every school does things different. Like yeah. for me personally, right? Yeah. My view is this: Ox, Ox, uh, Ofsted is yeah. an exam. Mm. Okay. It's an exam, right? Yeah. Nobody likes to fail an exam. It's true. Because even in a school setting, once you pass your exam, you move on to the next stage. Mm. Yeah. Right. If you fail the exam. Yeah, you either have to retake it mm. or you're done at that level. Mm. Right? Or you're you're made to believe you're done at that level. Mm. Right. So I've never seen so many posters go up in my life in a school. <laughs> right? <laughs> Until you know that Ofsted is coming. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The schools look good when Ofsted is coming. Mm. Cause they don't want to fail it. Mm. Right? Now, you as a teacher, mm. it may not affect you per se, mm. right? But like you said, it affects the head. Now, with this whole grading system and whatever have you, right? If you fail, suddenly the blame is on you. Yeah. So now we've got the blame culture. Yep. Right? Okay. We've got the blame culture. After the blame culture comes the cancel culture. Mm. Right? So now the head's looking like, oh, it's it's me, it's me, it's me. Right? Mm. But a lot of head teachers don't or they they seem to not want to take on that responsibility. 
So mm. it filters down mm. to like, oh, it's not, oh, it's you, it's your fault. Or oh, they came in and saw your classroom and your classroom, this and yeah. that. Okay. So now as a teacher, it's like, bro, what did I do? Bro? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. What, like my class. So then, and once you start putting that blame culture and that, that fear, right? Mm. Everybody starts to move different. Yeah, very different. Everybody's shifting mm. because it's like, Oh, I'm bad. I'm the worst thing ever. Yeah. Because they see Ofsted as this pinnacle exam, this higher, this high exam. Mm. And if you don't pass the exam, right, then that's it. Like you're done for. Yeah. You know what I mean? But because no one wants to feel like they contributed for the school to fail, to or, exactly. fail or not do well. Yeah. Exactly. But what you what you have to understand is like what you said in the beginning. There are so many different factors that Ofsted look at. They don't just look at teaching. No. Mm. No. Exactly. They, yeah. They don't just look at teaching. Exactly. They look at everything. Yeah. They do even the data school. as well. Everything. Uh, even, exactly. And then that's where, and even that's how you record, record the, the data. data that's what's very at. annoying as well. Because some schools will just be like at the last minute, let's let you know, let's uh, sort out all our folders. Yeah, I think, and then yeah. that's just causing more work. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. I think what would be better is if schools actually had a universal filing system of how they do things. Because mm. I've heard that you know, this department does it better than this department, and um, they always scrutinize one department of how they do things but at the end of the day we're different subjects yeah i mean so we might record differently yeah. even though how many um how frequently we record data yeah it's very different so they yeah. need to also keep that in mind as well yeah and and sometimes ofsted look i think the ofsted body they're yeah. trying to not be so uh, they're trying to show that don't worry we're not like scrutinizing teachers so much yeah that's because of how they used to be in the past. That's in, right. In the past, it was very much tick boxing. Yeah. yeah. And so it was a lot of scrutiny. It was a lot of scrutiny. So like schools were literally, once they know Ofsted is coming, it's literally right, cool. So uh, like um, data, they want data, this, this and this. Yeah. So we're going to change it. Smith pro forma everywhere. Like mm. even things that don't even need a Smith, like Smith pro forma yeah, everywhere. You need to make sure you have all this to <laughs> yeah. in yeah. different ways. In different ways. Just to impress and have show. You, have you got your folders in check? Yeah, have you yeah. got your... You know yeah. what I mean, like, yeah. and then suddenly it's like, well, what about your, what about your lesson plans? They brother? realized yeah. the pressure was a lot on the, they, they, they were pressure at the schools. There was a lot of pressure on the teachers. Then a lot yeah. of pressure on the teachers. Yeah. Whereas now it's more of a case of how is the school run as a collective? Yeah. Yes. And they're looking more at, yes, at the way the students are learning. Yes. Yeah. As opposed to the data, mm -hmm. yeah. they're looking more like, has the student actually progressed? If yeah. so, then why, why not? Why, yeah. yeah. What do you have in place or don't have in place mm. for the kids to learn? Yeah. Mm. And I think because of that, there's more pressure on the head teachers, the teachers now. Yeah. Whereas before it was about us teaching. Yeah, it was more pressure. Yeah, it's true. So the head teacher can kick back a piece, mm. right? But now it's like rah, like they're in the spotlight. Yeah. And rightfully so as well, because you're the head. Like let's be serious. You're running the. You're yeah. running it, right? So run it. Everything's up from the top, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, but the thing is, there's still that there, there's an, a feeling of anxiety. Of course, and stress on on the workforce, yeah. the staff always when they mm. hear that's happening, and I think partly it's because then what the school does, schools in general do, is they start doing things almost in preparation yeah. for Ofsted, but that preparation sometimes can can be stressful, yeah, because you're adding more work in different ways, and you're adding more work in a short space of short time. Short space that's of time. True. Because bearing in mind, I still got eight jobs to do. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that's true. I still got eight. Now I got 12. Now they got 12. Now I got 12. Yeah. You're taking a liberty. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and that takes its toll. Right. And you're just expected to do it. It's just it again, top. expectation. You're expected to do it. Whereas like what you were saying, be real. Yeah. Be real. Like regardless of Ofsted is coming or not, right? We all know that Ofsted is looking at the child. Mm. So why are you not looking at the child as well? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like, are you not there for the yeah. child? Is, is is the child understanding what you're teaching? Exactly. Mm. Are they progressing? So if you put the child, and this is what I've been saying to you from, from time, in, in loads of schools that I've worked at, right? Mm. Yeah. If you put in place things that are good, people will see that as good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're putting in things that are temporary to look nice, mm. it will fail. It will fail. It will fail straight because away. Do you know why? Yes. Because the kids can't pick, like, they have this inability to pick up things quickly. Yeah. So you're trying to, you know, show, you know, your clean face, but there's dirty laundry, like, underneath the carpet. Chase. You know what I mean? And a lot of kids. Like old drawers. They can't, exactly. <laughs> and a lot of kids, they can't just switch faces mm. like that. Especially yeah. if, like, someone's coming in, they'll be looking at you like, what are you doing? Why are you talking like that? Like, hey, why are you in my room for? I even remember yeah. when. Yeah, bro, kids look yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even remember when, like, I, I was uh, leaving the school, then I had to do an interview. Mm. And I was like, "All right, kids, uh, let's go." And one boy was like, "Sir, why are you talking like that?" I was like, uh, 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 uh. "Yeah, yeah." 
Because then obviously I was trying to, but even in the case, I was trying to not alert them that I'm leaving at the same time. Yeah. yeah. But like they can pick up on things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially, they if can. The, especially when the teacher's on edge, they can pick it up as well. Yeah, yeah that's what happens. Because in Offset, everyone's, look, uh, inevitably you're slightly on edge. Yeah. yeah. Because the whole vibe is on edge. Very much. The, right. whole, the whole atmosphere is a bit like tense. So then what happens is students uh, pick up on it. And if you're a little bit too different than you usually are, yeah. they're like, they will see it. Yeah, the way you acting like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah. Sometimes they'll even act up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, just that's to, true. Yeah, yeah just to test that's you. That's actually true. Just Some students test will you. test you. Test yeah, you. man. Yeah. Like, if you can knock down Timmy, not, not, but then yeah. but they'll just right. do it. And Timmy's then. been getting it from episode one, you know. Loud Timmy, bro. I'm letting Timmy know. Loud Timmy, bro. I'm sending shit. Nah, joking, uh. nah, Timmy's bro. a top student, bro. Leave Timmy alone for. <laughs> He's gonna but switch it, little Jessica. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like that's what they do. But yeah. then. What I find even more interesting is, you know, when schools have their in-house kind of offset kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah, well, yeah they do this thing where like we're gonna do like a trial mm. offset so that you're in preparation mm. for the real one. You know, these little mini. Yeah. I don't know. And I feel like it's even harder than the actual offset as well. Like. Yeah. But you know what? I think those things only. It's like those things only work right mm. if what the school has in place works. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because all you're in essence, all you're doing is is, is you're basically saying to them. I want to understand if you're doing what we're what we're telling you to do, yeah, yeah. or doing what you're supposed, supposed to, do, to do, right? Yeah. So now, if you've got things in place that are good and that are working, yeah, and mm. that are good for the student and working, mm. right? All you're doing with the in-house stuff is you're just checking to see if it works. Yeah, yeah. do you know what I'm saying to you? Mm. Because at the end of the day, it's like it's like practicing. Like if I t- if I t- and you have to practice as a collective. Yeah, if I say two plus two is four, mm. right? Mm. And I get everybody to say that twelve times, right? Mm. After the twelfth time, you're just gonna know automatic two mm. plus two is four. Four, yeah, exactly. You don't even have to practice because routine. It's routine. Yeah, but it's 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 embedded into your system. Mm. It's embedded into you. And do you that's know what, what I'm saying to you? Does. It almost stops your natural routine. It's your yeah. natural routine. routine. That's where the anxiety comes from. So you have to believe in your own funk. F U N K. That's what I said. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just in you case. have to spell it. <laughs> that's but, good. Yeah, but you have to believe <laughs> in it. Like, no, you have to believe yeah, in what you, you have do to. because otherwise, you then you knew you, you were doing a, sh- a, a, sh- a shoddy job. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. the whole. Switching yeah. your performer just yeah. to show face. No, no, it doesn't work it when doesn't you're like work. trying to change and uh, let's say up your game, like yeah. some people try and do for a show. Yeah. Let's say it should never be that. You should be consistently doing what you're doing anyway, mm-hmm. right? It's and it true. should be working. It's true. Because if you're trying to switch it up, firstly, it's gonna like throw you, so bad. and it's gonna also throw your audience who are your students because they're gonna know. Yeah. So and they you, like you don't know when. Yeah, and what time of that day that's true. they're gonna come in? Yeah, like, see, all they're like, yeah, well, I'm going Jimmy. We say, uh, oh, hello, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sally was looking for the spud, like, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like it doesn't work. It's true, yeah. it doesn't work, man. Yeah. It really doesn't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, just be yourself, and also, like, you need to understand now is that as much as as much as like. Ofsted will criticize because mm. that hasn't gone away. Mm. It's lessened, mm. it's lessened, but yeah. it hasn't gone away, yeah. right? It's more to do with feedback on improvement. Mm. So if you've messed up, you've messed up. Do you know what yeah. I mean? End of story. I got Listen and read the feedback and yeah. then improve yourself. I got a question. Do schools know the criteria that they've been evaluated on? They they do have the they general, do they, they, yeah, okay because I was do. going to be like if they knew the yeah criteria, they know the the sort of what they're gonna be looked at what it falls under yeah, yeah. the different yeah. sort of parts yeah. yeah but I think they get it like two days two before, days before yeah, like yeah. the offset comes in yeah or something so like it's that. become like a bit more like not last minute but yeah. they don't want to give you too much prep time because I believe every school offset looks like a different thing for each school mm. I don't remember one school mm. they only just wanted to. Keep Listen about your behavior, not even about like what, what's being taught yeah. in the yeah, school. Yeah, they might have a focus, a fo- yeah, a focal main focus, point, but yeah. they'll I still think, touch on other things. I oh, think okay. they look. Definitely. I think they look at the previous Ofsted yeah. report of that school, oh, okay. yeah. and they see they look at all like the the good points, the bad points, yeah. and then the bad points become a focal for the next next yeah. Ofsted okay. report. Yeah, cool. Like, cool I cool, mean, cool. logistically, that's what it should be. Yeah, if they do it, and I have no idea, but yeah. I'm just saying logistically, that's yeah. what it should be. Because yeah. from my knowledge, like I remember, like one of my schools, LSA. Mm. They they didn't really care what what we were teaching, mm. even though the teacher made all of it. And it's so funny; it was mostly LSA is doing the teachers. Well. Stop um, it. <laughs> trust me. Stop even though it. they made us, you know, like one year they asked the teachers to 
organize what they learnt for the whole year and mm. just only in like November. Mm. So mm. they even asked teachers, they said, Oh, you might not have to plan the lesson, but please can you let us know what you're gonna be doing so you can I, I think they had that little ladder, that snake thing, mm. so it can links into the next one. Yeah. Okay. And then um they did all of this based on lessons and then mostly the women came in, asked about the behaviour and that's all that she was really like Focused, focused on, on yeah yeah and nothing else like everything else that we prepared for she didn't really care about it or showed any regard whatsoever yeah, i guess her focus mm. was that then. yeah that yeah. and then mm. think so then i was thinking that's why mm. they probably failed the, the behavior report horribly, horribly last yeah. time mm. then well it's in stonebridge isn't it? so so so, so <laughs> my thing is is uh my Stop thing it. is this Stop doing that. uh my thing is this <laughs> If you could give some advice to teachers who are, let's say, are feeling that panic and fear, mm. what would you say to them? Because the thing is, you know, there is a lot of that. So, and there's a lot of anxiety. What would you say to teachers who are maybe ex- coming into this or experience, experiencing this or they're, they're coming to see them in school? What would you say to the teachers? Don't ha- take it personal. Don't take it yeah. personal. Yeah, it's not, per- it's not, not a personal attack on you. It's yeah. not really a personal attack on the head teacher either. Yeah. yeah. It's just how we can improve. You know yeah. what I mean? Because we, we, we all want to prove it at the end of the day, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it's what we say to students. Yeah. yeah. Like we say, you know, don't worry, look, just work on the next one and you will improve. Exactly. We need to have that sort of empathy as well with yeah, our teachers with our and teacher. our and our staff yeah. because I feel like sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes like there's this like there is harsh criticism. There is very hard, and then we need to just ease up a bit because look, we need to look after our staff as well. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with harsh criticism. Mm. Like you're only calling it harsh yeah. because um, you've taken yeah. it in a harsh way. Right. Yeah, it's, it's not what you say; it's how you say it's it. It's how you say it, right? Yeah. So my thing is this, right? So mm. again, like, don't take things personally. Yeah. It's not like it's not about you. Yeah. Right. The second thing is, if the child. Is mm. the main focal point, mm. yeah. Mm. And actually, actually, this this is for certain levels. So, like, just for teachers, yeah. If the child is the main focal point, yeah, right, yeah. Then, like, you're good, yeah, yeah. Then you're good. Mm. Right? If the child is the main focal point, then you're mm. good. Things like SLT and stuff like that, mm. right? Every SLT member has like a focal point of what they need to do during the year mm. and whatever have yeah. you, yeah, right. Make sure you've got that correct, mm. yeah. But at the same time, you need to keep the teacher. And the child yeah. as your main focal point, exactly. mm. right? And then in terms of the head, you're running things. Yeah. Make sure things are running smoothly. Everybody is in place doing what they need to do and doing it well. Yeah. And again, the child has to be the main focal point. I just want to add to this because I know it just came to my mind. It's a snapshot of one day or not even a full work, uh, teaching day. It's a snapshot yeah. of one day of that school. And I think parents shouldn't take Ofsted as the end or be all as well. Because mm-hmm. I know that's what we're mostly thinking. Mm. Oh, if I get uh, it needs improvement, then you know our reten- our, our cohort of kids will be lowered. But yeah, just remember, it's only a snapshot of what one day is. It might even be your busy day. It might even be like yeah. the worst day. We get that one class where they come yeah. in. Yeah, you know what I mean. But like, um, you just need to remember that it's for your benefit at the end of the day as well. Mm. Yeah, it may not seem like it, but it's actually for and not only your personal benefit, the whole school, the whole community benefit as well. So it it, so it shows a reflection of you know okay. This is what we're strong at, but this is where we could improve. So next yeah. time they come back, mm. do you know what? Like, I don't know about you guys, but like, I never received this. But I personally think that when you go to a school, when you start off in a school, mm. they should give you their last Ofsted report. Mm. Mm. They should give it to you and be like, "Look, this is our last Ofsted report, right? What can you bring to the table in order to yeah. improve?" Do you know what I'm saying? And that's at all levels, all mm. levels of hiring. That's, mm. a, that's a new interview question now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Made the hard pass now, thanks. <laughs> I'm painting it that now, innit? Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. I'll blow you 20% off all teachers. <laughs> 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 but for real, like, mm. well, look at the last Ofsted report. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying to you? And then like, if you know that that school is failing for like, but like you said with the other school behavior, if you mm. know that's that school's failing of behavior, mm. right? then you upon yourself need to say, all right, cool. Clearly there's an issue there. Mm. I need to make sure that I toughen up on my behavior yeah. in my classroom so I'm not part of the issue. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? That's true. And then, and then have it from there. Yeah. Now, mm. obviously, we get bombarded with emails and documents and this, that, and that, mm. that, and this, that, and the third, right? Mm. But I think that should be a main document that you should look through. Mm. Do you know what I mean? 
right? Mm. Because at the end of the day, we can all learn from it because exactly. you're supposed to learn from it. Exactly. Mm. Ofsted shouldn't be something you fear. It should be something you work with. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. You should. You need to work. Like, it's, it's a change your relationship. Change your it. relationship. It's a governing body. Yeah, right. That's true. It's a governing body. So work with the governing body. Exactly. Don't work against it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Would it benefit schools if one person from Ofsted comes in one day and like, you know how we have an inset? Yeah, maybe they could come and explain what it is really, especially to like new teachers as well. Because before I became a teacher, I used to hear the horror stories of Ofs- of Ofsted. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. Mm. So maybe I think I when they s- horror story, yeah, because like, actually, I'm but you like see, that's the thing. See, he's 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 hit the nail on the head. You have that fear. There's the yeah. horror stories. There's this yeah, happened, yeah. that happened. But I think it's sometimes it's the way the schools also portray and talk about Ofsted. Yeah. So yeah. if they're saying, you know, we're going to get some support, you know, the words you use to yeah. communicate how Ofsted are going to come in exactly. is also important yeah. because yeah. then it, it puts you to ease and it settles you. And like, do we know the face of Ofsted as well? Because like, we just mm. think he's no, just this don't. big machine. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like true. Well, you have to when you humanize it. And maybe bit, Ofsted you know. should be humanizing themselves right. to the schools. Yeah. Well, do you know what you could just like we have just like we have. Um, what's it called um like people in the schools from you know different like teaching organizations and stuff like that mm. yeah like um you know like oh, what do they call it man which one uh yeah. like te- representatives for like, for teachers not the union reps. yeah union oh, yeah, reps rep. yeah just oh. like we have union reps we should have Ofsted reps mm. okay right? yeah so say you've got like two people that just teachers but they're they're, they're an Ofsted rep mm. right they could be helping the school along the way Okay. okay. Do you know what I mean? So mm. say what Ofsted is every every three years as an example, right? Mm. Within those three years, you've got your Ofsted rep that the head teacher can be working with. Okay, you know, it's an extra responsibility. Yeah. And it is a big responsibility to have. Mm. So obviously, you know, make the pay handle the responsibility, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But with that being said, you're working with Ofsted. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. that, that person can then report to Ofsted and say, look, you know, this is what the school's put in place based on the last report. Yeah. yeah? Six true. months down the line, let me holler at you to see if it's working. Okay. Six months, you holler at them and say, look, it's actually really, really working. Yeah. Right? So then in three years when Ofsted do come back, yeah, the school's not running around like crazy. Yeah, putting up posters, making everything look <laughs> nice and that. Yeah, yeah, teachers aren't sweating. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. it's like, oh, I'm gonna come in and, and someone's gonna look at my lesson and exactly, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying to you, right? Mm. You've had you've had a, a very, very, very long amount of time to handle your business and get things looking correct, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you're working with Ofsted instead yeah, of working yeah. against them. Mm. And then before you know it, right, mm. you'll get, you may not be straight away, but you'll get to that outstanding level. Exactly, yeah. You'll get there because you're doing everything that you're supposed mm. to be doing, mm. but you're again, you're keeping the children and you're keeping mm. the students as the main focal point. That's yeah. good, yeah. So maybe it. we should have Ofsted representatives, yeah. just like we have yeah. union yeah. representatives. I think that's a good idea. That's true. Really and, I th- idea. and I think, you know, like to the teachers who are hearing that Ofsted are coming, what I'll say to them is like, don't worry about what's happening. They're coming, so just keep doing what you're doing. You don't need to put a show and a dance in a mm. in for a yeah, lesson and yeah. overdo it and exactly. make sure you got all this, all that. They don't want that either. Yeah. The flamboyance. They don't want that. They don't want you to like, you know what I mean? Just make it into like a show. A show, yeah. Literally. They want it to be like what you usually, they want to see what you do usually. Exactly, yeah. So just keep doing what you're doing as long as you're doing the right things. And don't don't change things because yeah. it will look obvious exactly. when you change or try and add things. Look, Most of their stuff bait. are ex teachers, aren't they? As well, yes, so exactly. Yeah. So they know. So they oh, they'll like, pick up. Yeah. yeah, they'll know. Because also, what you do usually could just be wrong. Yeah, mm. <laughs> it could just be blatantly <laughs> wrong. Yeah. So let them come in and say, do you know what? Ah, nah, change that one. The thing is, yeah. you need to know either way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You need to know whether you're doing the right thing, the wrong thing. But the thing is, hopefully you're doing the right things because obviously you've been teaching there for a while, hopefully, yeah. or you're teaching there and you've got head of department, you've got other experienced mm. teachers that yeah. have seen what you're doing. So it should be fine. But that panic mode, not I need to go and print off this and I need to... No, that's going to stress you out. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, you Facts. need to just relax Facts. and just keep doing what you're doing. Um, and that way, you know, you'll be fine. That it's just the, sometimes it's the word. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> Ofsted. Ofsted's you know, like coming. It's yeah, coming. I mean, like, bro, that's how they do it, bro. Yeah. Ofsted's coming. Yeah. 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 Ofsted's come like, coming. Come like Game of Thrones. Really? Winter's coming. Really? Like. <laughs> Ofsted's coming. You know I mean? bro, Watch bro, like, out. If you see Ofsted as a mentor, like yeah. it, it changes. Yeah, it changes. Your right mindset there. changes. Yeah, true. Because yeah. automatic, like mentor equals yeah. help. Yeah. yeah. It's a mindset. I mean? It's a mindset. And you know what? It's so let's say you get, you know, our results. Mm. It's not 
the result itself is what you do after the result because mm. like you said mm. if you're head of year or head of department's gonna start doing the blame game mm. then you're obviously gonna have a negative reaction yeah. to it next time so yeah. i think you True. need to take it as constructive criticism so yeah okay we've got this so what can we do next time i don't think anyone should be oh it was your fault it was your lesson no no okay we've got this okay we need to do x y and z or yeah. z and we'll move on and move on yeah yeah and then i 100%. think yeah and i think what we what we should do is we should always tell them what was good yeah what yeah, we man. did well give them the good with, with the bad so i like that so even like the case of how we deal with what ofsted do and the aftermath yeah of mm. ofsted we need to make it positive yeah yeah and and because don't forget you've got teachers that are already you know pretty stressed anyway stressed. Mm. you don't want to add to that anxiety and then make them think that they're bad teachers and that they for the rest of the year they got this thing hanging over them yeah, yeah. you actually want them to think they're moving forward and yeah. moving on from whatever's happening yeah and that and like everybody there's always room to improve mm -hmm. and, and and positive criticism is also part of it you know yeah, exactly. and you have to do it as a collective bro mm. you yeah. have to be as a collective as a school as a unit yeah mm. but it's like if there was an earthquake that destroyed the village now yeah mm. You ain't gonna blame nobody. Exactly. Yeah. Right. It was your fault at my house. No, brother. It wasn't my <laughs> fault. Like, do you know what I mean, brother? As soon as that hits, as soon as the, the earthquake done finished now, yeah? Uh. Everybody's coming out. Those that yeah. have survived is coming out. Mm. Yeah? Making sure to find survivors. Mm. After they found all the survivors now, exactly. everyone's building houses together. Mm. You, like, you need that, that, that collective build, unit. Build, build together. You mm -hmm. need to build Look together. each other. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you're there in you're there in that one building so trying to survive yeah. anyway. Exactly. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Trying to thrive. And are trying yeah. to prosper So why are you Why are you fighting Against each other It you doesn't I mean? make no sense And bro. like you said You said Ofsted Like should be seen As a positive thing Yeah man Very positive so See it as a mentor Yeah but I think the Communicating this From schools Is very important Yeah mm -hmm. Communicating that it's, it's a positive thing And that also Talking to the heads Of departments Everybody who's Like talk to the teachers As if don't worry It's a positive We're gonna It's a learning thing yeah. It's how you communicate yeah. Them coming as well That's Yeah the you know it's true yeah it's true so i think we hit that i yeah, think we man. did well on that yeah, man, yeah, and man. we covered that so yeah guys we're done done now that's it ready done so now. guys hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell see you on the next one take care